guys, welcome back to the channel, and uh, sorry about not being able to to upload this uh, video yesterday. Um, something came up, so it's going to be today, uh, which is uh, Thursday. Um, I really miss uh, shooting some portraits, um, really, and uh, just shooting stuff at home, and uh, my wife is not so so keen on be being photographed all the time. Um, I got this model, uh, Antonio, this um, mannequin uh, that I can use, but it's not so much fun. And doing selfies is not really my style, you know. This is not, yeah, I'm not model potential. I don't have any model potential. Um, but um, I miss it. Um, but then I'm, I'm going around and, and shooting landscapes and portraits, or sorry, uh, landscapes and uh, flowers and stuff like that. And then the other morning, uh, as I was taking the, the dog for a walk, uh, I just, um, well, I got this, this thing. Um, a lot of photographers love the blue hour, the golden hour and stuff like that. I tend to be drawn towards harsh shadows and, 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 and bright highlights. This very contrasty uh, uh, thing, and especially shadows on on buildings and um, well on everything. So um, let's uh, have a look and see what I what I noticed out there as I was walking. Uh, you see these um, these patterns here, uh, which is um, on the footwalk around where we live, and it comes from this uh, railing. Um, Sun is shining through. Those uh, squares look uh, quite nice on the ground. Uh, and then I noticed uh, this. It's just from the, I think it's some bushes, uh, and my feet are down there. My nice shoes, yeah. And um, and as you can see, also the same pattern. Also with this uh, these squares uh, and an interesting pattern on the car with the lights uh, coming through uh, in the parking lot. Uh, and then. Um, the trees uh, making stuff on the grass there, a nice little uh, silhouette or something, um, and also this, uh, some some railings uh, down there, and then the, the final railing railing is uh, is coming up here. So uh, what I decided to do was to uh, see if I could make my own. Uh, so uh, I went to the studio, and this is how this went. This is the uh, setup I'm going to shoot the pictures with. This is our beautiful model, uh, this rabbit. Another model here is this, uh, is this car um, that I'm going to use. And then the GoPros are here, the one with the squares and the lines. This is just like uh, some blinds in front of a window that's supposed to, to look like that. Uh, a tree, very nice, right? Yeah. And those hearts, um, and then this piece of, of something from the lamp with the small holes in. Um, so, 
camera set up here with a transmitter to the uh, Godox TT350. This is in fact the smallest uh, speed light that Godox makes. Look how small it is. So <clears throat> this is the one I use for travel, but I think it's suitable for an environment like this. It's placed on my platypod. And this is this, the studio space is here uh, with a nice uh, white backdrop, uh, which is just a piece of, of some, some real backdrop. You could use any sheet of paper or, or something, um, just well in the color you like. I just uh, chose the, the white one here to start with. Uh, some uh, flags here to, uh, to take care of any uh, light spilling uh, around and uh, a reflector if I want to reflect the, the light up to something uh, because I'm going to use only one light. Uh, this is not going to be a terrible, um, um, a very big setup, just a small simple setup. And some, some various clamps over here. And this is just taped to the wall, uh, the backdrop here. and it, falls down all the time, so it's got a lot of tape on it. So, uh, but instead of me talking you through every uh, single uh, picture, I'm just going to, to uh, start shooting and, uh, and shooting on those pictures and, uh, and, and you'll see the results in the end. In the end. Uh, however, before I, I come to that, I'll just show you um, how I set this up. And um, we start with the car which is basically what I'm going to do in a while. The car was this pattern. I don't know if you remember from the picture before, but this is what we started with. And I'm going to place this on those two. Something like that. And I got some marks here for the car because I've been test shooting a bit. Um, and have the speed light over here. So this is basically the setup uh, that I can uh, can use for this. So, yeah, that's it. So I'll start shooting, and uh, I'll see you uh, at the end of the video, uh, and I'll show you the pictures. So here's the first uh, shot of the car. Uh, you can see that light spinning in the background. I don't mind that too much. Uh, it's a nice pattern, but you can't really see the squares, uh, not uh, either in this picture. Uh, you have to make those holes so small, and uh, yeah, that's it's simply impossible when you downscale it like this. So, but I'm happy with the results. This is just more like, uh, well, what you'd see with a big gobo and with a uh, proper model and a window. Uh, and you can see here if uh, you uh, put this uh, closer to uh, the gobo, uh, the edges on the shadows get uh, a lot sharper. And um, and also if you go to if you see this tree, um, well, it's not that effective. Uh, I needed to to turn the the light towards it to to get the shadow in there, and then I'm, there's not a lot enough light on the on the. Uh, on the rabbit. And this is the piece of stuff from the lamp. Uh, well, just to show you, uh, it's not a success. And this is just a standard portrait of the rabbit. Uh, that doesn't seem to be uh, enough background, but uh, yeah, that's that's all right. It's just for fun. So uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Uh, little uh, video and learned at least uh, something. Now I've got this uh, mini studio set up so I can do uh, other fun stuff with that and, uh, and photograph and, and, and fool around with that. Um, so yeah, but using gobos is, um, is basically as, 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 I, as you can probably see, uh, it's a matter of, of finding the correct distance between the light and the gobo and between the gobo and the person to get those shadows to be just as you want them. It's tricky uh, on a small setup like this because I don't have so much leeway to to uh, to move around, and it's also a bit difficult to uh, to um, to control the light. You saw the light spill and all that, and I really needed to flag that off, but it would be too complicated on on, on such a small. Uh, space and also because I didn't have enough cardboard um, I, you saw that big piece of paper maybe you noticed that but it's just soft paper and it just falls over and I didn't have any way to um, to um, 
to mount it up or getting it stable somehow. I couldn't do that. Uh, so I, I should probably get some more cardboard, but I just suddenly realized I didn't have any. So, yeah. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed it, as, uh, as I said. Uh, see you on Sunday where we're going uh, out again, outdoors, the landscape on Sunday. Uh, the 10 minutes uh, project or project 10 uh, which I'm going to be I don't know if I'm walking or, or biking that depends on how much the leaves that gets on the trees but I think I'll probably walk there's some awesome birch trees that I'm going to photograph I'm really looking forward to that uh, some early morning uh, tomorrow or Saturday I think I'll go out uh, depending on the weather uh, I hope the weather will be okay because I need the light in a specific angle you know sometimes you just uh, sometimes it's not about harsh shadows as this video was about but sometimes it's about the soft light instead and that's what I need for those trees and uh, to make them shine and look good but uh, hang on uh, I'll come back uh, on Sunday and uh, subscribe and hit that bell button and all that stuff uh, uh, around and um, so you can get a notification when these uh, videos come up again so I'll uh, see you on Sunday and then I'll see if I can find some funny stuff for, for next uh, Wednesday as well uh, so Thanks for watching, bye.